Hello and welcome to Vector Thoughts Plus. My name is Martin Periniak, and today I'm going to talk about the liquid layout feature in InDesign CS6. This is one of the most exciting new features in this version. There was a feature called layout adjustment in previous versions, which was quite similar to this, but liquid layout makes our life much easier, especially if you are someone who's going to work for print and digital publishing at the same time. Let's just say you have a document or a design which you have to create for print and then you have to also apply it for, let's just say, an iPad. So already you have three different versions that you have to create. You have to create the print version, then you have to create the portrait and landscape format or vertical and horizontal uh, version of the iPad design. So this is a typical scenario when it's great to have the liquid layout feature and also the alternate layout features in InDesign. I'm explaining the alternate layout features in another tutorial. Now I would like to focus on the liquid layout features. First of all, let's just see what can be achieved with this feature. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to select the page tool. And as you can see here on the sides, we have these control points. And uh, this is something that is again another new feature in CS6. So by dragging these, you can see while I'm resizing my page size, all the elements are moving around. So that's essentially how liquid page uh, can work or this liquid page design works. So no matter how uh, much I change my page size, everything will automatically move around on the page. So that is a great feature, but now let's see how we can actually turn this on and how can we make changes to it. So first of all, where can we find this feature? If you have the page tool selected, that's one place where you can make changes. And this is the place called liquid page rule. Here you can turn it off or you can set it to one of these rules. Now, if I'm going to make uh, changes now that I have the liquid page rule turned off, you will see the difference. Nothing really moves around. I only have my background gray color extended uh, to make it bigger than the original page size. But apart from that, nothing really moves around. So it's completely static compared to the liquid version. So this is one place where we can make changes to the actual page so set up a page rule but we can also achieve the same feature whenever we create an alternate layout so here in the pages panel if i click on this drop down i can choose create alternate layout and once i have that option on here you can see that we have the liquid page rule options the same as what we have here in the options bar whenever we have the page tool selected I'm going to click on OK just to create another version and just to show you that here in the pages panel now we have two versions. We have this one uh, which is like a portrait version and this is the horizontal or landscape version of the same document. Let's try to set the liquid page rule to scale and see what happens. I'm going to zoom out a bit and I'm going to drag these corner points and you can see that now not only that I uh, change the page size and all the elements are repositioning in the new page size, but they are also scaling. So that's a very cool feature. Once again, completely dynamic and everything scales up and down and also uh, move around in my page. And another useful thing to remember is that whenever you move or change the page size with these control points, if you want to actually apply the change, you have to hold down Alt. So without holding down Alt, it will jump back to its original size. So it's good for testing out and see how does it look with different sizes. But when you're happy with your changes, you can hold down Alt and then it will stay like that. Let me just undo this step for now. So we saw how the scale page rule works. Let's see recenter. Recenter is actually very similar. Here there's no scaling. What happens is that InDesign will try to keep everything together. So all the elements are not moving away from each other, but they are always in the center of the page. Once again, if I zoom a bit further away, we can see it better. So they are always staying in the center of the page. 
very simple and easy to understand. What is an object-based uh, liquid page rule? Uh, in this case, the elements are not sizing or not scaling whenever I change the page size, but InDesign will try to keep them in the same position or same location of the page. So they are going to move away from each other if I'm making the page bigger, or they are squashed together if I uh, give less space for them. So that's the object-based uh, page rule. And in the object-based page rule, we can also set up different things. Like if I click on an image, I can see all these control points. And let me zoom a little bit closer so I can show these exactly what happens with them. Uh, maybe I'm going to select this logo here and I'm going to tell InDesign to keep the distance from the edge on the top the same while everything else can move around. So it will be stick to the top of the page. So if I now start moving the page size around, everything will move. I can extend the canvas or the page size to the right or anywhere else, but that logo will always keep the distance from the top as it was originally. If I also lock this distance here, then it will stay in that corner and will never move away. So you can see everything else is moving around apart from that logo, which stays in the corner with the same distance from the right and the top edges of the page. And of course we can select any of the elements. It can be text, it can be image, so even the background. We can tell InDesign exactly how we want to work with these objects and what we want to allow to them and what is not allowed for them. So there are many ways to work with object-based rules, but we also have the guide-based rules. So if I select guide-based liquid page rule, then we can use the rulers and drag out guides. And these are actually special guides. These are liquid layout guides. And um, let's just say if I drag a guide here, that will allow these elements, whichever are crossed with this guide, to be able to change based on the size change of the page, but they will only be able to change uh, their width because vertically they are constrained by that liquid page uh, guide. So you can see I can change their uh, width, but the height always stays the same. What happens if I drag another guide out and I add it onto these elements here? Now, if I start dragging the size of the page, you can see that the logo, because it has also a vertical and horizontal guide on it, can be resized in any directions, while the text, which has only a horizontal guide on it, can only be resized up or down. You can only have one liquid page rule active. <laughs> so if you turn back to, let's say, object-based rule, then the guides will still be visible, but they won't affect the changes. So as you can see, it's completely different now. While if I choose uh, the guide based, then they will become active again. So they stay there, but they are not active unless the guide based rule is selected. And there's one more thing I would like to show you, and that is the panel for liquid layout rules. If you go to the window menu, you can find it under the interactive options and there's liquid layout. So we have a panel for this. I'm going, just going to turn off the articles. We don't need that at the moment. And what can we do with this uh, panel? So for example, we can select an object. And as you can see, we have the liquid page rule set to object based, but we can also set up constraints like height and width and we can set the pins as well like now it's pinned to the top but we can pin it to the right or choose whichever we want for an image we can also choose like auto fit feature so if i set select all of these images and set auto fit for them and whenever i use the page tool and i just zoom out a bit and um, start changing these then you can see that the images will always auto fit. It's more interesting when I set the uh, liquid page rule to guide based and then I add a guide here for these, these images as well. And then if I start changing them, you can see the auto fit feature actually resizes the content of the images when I move them around. 
So that's a very neat feature. So that's something that you won't be able to add here in the toolbar or the options bar on the top. You have to have the panel open for this. And that is all what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope you found this technique useful. And if you combine the liquid page rules with alternate layouts, you can be much faster if you have to produce designs for different formats. Thanks a lot for your attention and I hope you will join me next time as well.